My name is Randy Bigley. Joining me on the podcast right now is Mike Ansball. He's with the Crawford County Veterans Services. In fact, he's the executive director, correct? Mm -hmm. That's correct. Uh, let's talk about that. The Crawford County Veterans Service, what, what do you guys do? Well, uh, in state Ohio, state law requires that uh, each county have an office like mine and that we do certain things to help veterans in our county. Uh, you know, provide transportation, have an emergency financial assistance program, uh, manage the indigent burial, you know, things like that. But, uh, you know, we primarily connect veterans with the benefits that they they're eligible to receive because of their service to the country. Do you think sometimes they don't realize what, what they're eligible for? Uh, a lot of times. Mm -hmm. I have I have veterans who walk in literally monthly and say, oh, I didn't realize that you guys were here. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Still, yeah. you know, and they've been in the county for 20 years. Yeah. Uh, and so, you know, hey, what are you, you know, what are you interested in? What can we do for you? And then we try to connect them with the benefits that, that they would use and that, you know, are going to provide a, a, a good benefit for them. What are some of the benefits? Um, well, their compensation is the big mm -hmm. one. Um, you know, there's medical, there's pension, but compensation is really the big one. That's uh, there's an injury, illness, or disease that's incurred in service that results in a residual disability, and that residual disability is then something that's service connectable. Mm -hmm. um, you'll hear you'll hear service connection as a, a big component of VA uh, benefits like medical care. If uh, a veteran is service connected for hearing loss, which is a, a big one, mm -hmm. um, then any care or medical device or appliance that they would need for that, any surgery or treatment that they require is by law free to them for that service-connected disability. So in the example of hearing loss, it could be hearing aids. Mm -hmm. Now the VA has a very liberal policy with providing hearing aids to veterans through uh, their medical system, um, but you know, getting, you know, getting service connected for hearing loss, there's additional things that go with that. In addition to, you know, there, there may be a monetary component mm -hmm. depending on the percentage that's assigned. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's, you know, that's a pretty big deal. Yeah. Uh, especially if it's not for something that the VA normally doesn't do. Um, you can have service connection. Uh, another big one is uh, Agent Orange exposure. Mm -hmm. um, so. Type 2 diabetes is a big one. If a veteran is service connected for type 2 diabetes, we need, you know, testing strips, testing equipment, regular checkups, and then all the checks that go with that, sure. podiatry and eye care and kidney, and you know, all of that tends to be very expensive. And the VA would do that and provide all of those things at no cost. Oh, wow. So, yeah, yeah. yeah you service connect the, mm -hmm. the veteran for type 2 diabetes, and then all the things that they're gonna need are per, just provided to them at no cost because the VA says that care is at no cost for those things that are service connected. You know, some things could pop up later off in life. That the you, you know you always say you lose a limb, that's one thing, but right. different things can pop up later on. Right. Yeah. And you know, service connection is not you know, and we we literally have this. You know, well, I I don't really need it. You know, I you know I wasn't a hero. I you know I didn't storm the beaches at Normandy. You know. But that's not really the point. The point is, you served your country, right. you have an honorable discharge, you, were, you incurred a disability during your period of service. Um, you know, the service, the, the, the money really is kind of the, the smaller of the two benefits. The, the biggest thing is, you know, the, the, mo the one that's actually worth the most, so to speak, is the medical care. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you have eligibility to medical care for that condition at no cost. And depending on the percentage, you may be able to receive medical care for anything at no cost through the VA system. Wow, okay. Yeah, so yeah. You know, if, if a veteran has multiple disabilities and they all add up to 70% or 50% or, or you know, greater, then it doesn't matter what the, you know, mm -hmm. what, the, what the condition is that they're being treated for, the care is at no cost. Yeah. And not necessarily maybe the limb that was injured, but maybe another limb that's affected by the one that was injured is covered too, right? Right, yeah, that's yeah. called uh, presumptive, mm -hmm. or secondary, I'm sorry. So in that example, I, you know, I lose a leg. And over the course of my life, I've, because I have a prosthesis, I've changed the way I walk, I've worn out the hip on the mm -hmm. opposite side. I can service connect that because it's resultant from my service connected disability. 
So direct service connection is the, the loss of the limb in the service because of that injury. The secondary one is the, the hip on the opposite side that I've worn out because I've changed my gait. So I mean, it's worth going in and talking to somebody to see if maybe this is covered, right? Right, yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, yeah. some things are pretty well covered in the popular media. Mm -hmm. the, the biggest problem that we have is, uh, you know, well, somebody told me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they never, they never tell you who somebody is, though, do they? <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, somebody told yeah. me, or you yeah. know, yeah. I, I heard, you know, from a friend, and, uh, you know, it never hurts to ask. Mm -hmm. You know, it, we encourage people to call and ask questions. Um, maybe there is a benefit there. Mm -hmm. um, if there is, great, come see us. You know, we can help you. If there isn't, we'll tell you there isn't up front, and we'll tell you why, and we'll see if there is a way to still get you a benefit. How about spouses? What is, God forbid that the, the spouse dies. Is he, can you help out the spouse, the surviving spouse? The surviving spouse of a veteran, mm -hmm. yes. Okay. So, it, and again, if we're talking about compensation, mm -hmm. If the veteran is 100% service connected, so their 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 disability or disabilities equal 100%, um, then the surviving spouse can receive something called dependency indemnity compensation or DIC. So if the veteran is 100% for 10 years or more and then passes away from anything, the spouse is eligible for DIC. Okay. If the veteran is service connected, they don't have to be 100%, but they're service connected for let's say a heart condition, and they pass away because of that, then the spouse can receive DIC. Mm -hmm. um, if the veteran is service connected for type two diabetes, and the type two diabetes causes this, which causes this, which causes this, which then causes death, because the thing that caused this whole chain to, mm -hmm. of, of calamities to start was the type 2 diabetes, which was the service-connected disability. You can walk it back and still get the spouse DIC. Wow, because the original was from that. Right. Okay. Yeah, that, so the, 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 the instigation, the thing that instigated this whole kind of domino effect was a service-connected condition. You can walk that back to the service-connected condition. Wow. So it sounds like if somebody has questions, I mean, they need to get a hold of you and say, hey, mm -hmm. am I covered on this? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, there's there's a lot of, today, you can go on the internet and find anything you want. <laughs> and, <laughs> Whether it's the right answer or not. <laughs> right. And, and usually, yeah. you know, usually yeah. depending on, you know, well, I don't like that answer. And you can search long enough, you can find the answer that you want. <laughs> right. Um, yeah. But, you know, I, I tell people, look, give us a call. Yeah. You know, we're that's what we're here for. So, you know call us, say, this is my circumstance, what can we do? And, you know, a lot of times we're able to help. There are some, there are some instances mm -hmm. where they're just, we, we can't, but, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of the time we can come up with a solution. Some kind of help for you, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You ever have people say, boy, I wish I would have talked to you years ago? Yes, I do. <laughs> I bet you do. <laughs> I bet you do. So it's good to get the word out there about the services that are available. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, filing claims, that's one of the big ones. So mm -hmm. the VA has kind of an initiative mm -hmm. where you can go on the internet through their website and you can file a claim and you can read all about compensation. The, the thing that they don't tell you is kind of what the rules are, mm -hmm. which is where you know service officers come in. Service officers are trained, they've done this for a while, they know what the rules are. And I've had people that have filed claims online and the VA just turned them down. And it's because of something really simple. They, mm -hmm. they didn't do this, or they didn't provide that. And when we've, they've come in, they said, I don't understand. We've looked at it. Sometimes we can file an appeal mm -hmm. if it's within that first year after the decision. Sometimes we just have to refile the claim because it's been a couple of years. Um, a lot of times there is a benefit there. They just didn't, they just didn't know how to, to do it. They didn't know how to access it. You probably so, get you pretty confused again with it, man. Totally. Yeah. 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 And, Overwhelming, too. Right. Yeah. And, yeah. and, you know, the, the VA has kind of said, you know, well, we're into the self serve mm -hmm. thing, which is great, but there are some things that shouldn't be self serve. Mm -hmm. You know, um, yeah, like, you know, uh, a Coke at McDonald's or money from the ATM. Mm -hmm. Right. But you, you probably don't want to have, like, you know, self serve cardiac thoracic surgery. Or <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> you know, um, yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's helpful to have somebody that has the experience that can help you through the process. And the, the, the process is not fast. I mean, it is the government. Um, it, and it's not, it's not well explained. So having somebody that's kind of been there and done that before makes it easier. It doesn't make it any faster, yeah. but it makes it yeah. easier to, to get through it and understand why we're doing it this way. So Mike, if someone is interested and wants to know, maybe they have a question, how do they get a hold of you, what do they need to do? Well, uh, we have a website, uh, which is uh, Crawford County Veterans Ohio. Uh, we also have an office in Bucyrus, which is located in the courthouse. It's 112 East Mansfield Street. Um, you can call us. Our phone number is 419-562-7761. Uh, we're on Facebook. I mean, there's a, a number of ways to, to find us, to ask us questions. You can email us. You can call us. You can stop in. Um, but, yeah. Thanks, Mike. I really appreciate your time. Oh, no problem. Thank you for having me. Thank you.